Welcome to the news. First up, we got ServiceNow Rising Stars. Cast your vote. Sarah G shared this on Community. I think this is a great program. There's three programs like this now. You have the ServiceNow Developer MVP, you have the ServiceNow Community MVP, and you have the ServiceNow Rising Stars. I've been members of two of these, and you get some pretty awesome perks like a coat or backpack. There's some perks I can't talk about because I agreed I wouldn't talk about them, but trust me, they're worth getting. So you should nominate your friends or the people you enjoy on the community who are rising stars. Cast that vote. David Derling of Finite Partners shared this before Queer Rules post they wrote about understanding why they're important, like why you get those messages of like number of rows restricted, explaining how do before Queer Rules help, and then expressing caution because like anything, you can take it too far. Highly recommend reading it. Then I learned about this person named Amanda Johnson, who was on the Customer Connection podcast talking about now learning and how important the training and certificates are, how to structure and design training, and then when is training effective. I sometimes struggle with, uh, with finding the value in certificates, but when they're free, they're awesome. And when they're not free, it still opens the door for a lot of opportunity. So they're probably still worth it, even if I think projects are a better, are a better use of your time. It doesn't hurt to have both, and you can do both without actually getting hired anywhere yet. Speaking of free certificates and training, there is the free cert Certified System Administrator Fundamentals until 831. And Jan Sperling here posted on the community that Ben Forrest was going to be doing office hours on Tuesdays, 4 to 6 p.m. until that ends. So I have a link in the description, or I have a link on the post in the description below. If you are curious, I would definitely recommend checking that out. Then today I saw that Jordan Stein of Maven Next posted something about more certified system administrator questions and answers, and it was written like a developer game. I'm not sure exactly what this is, but I'm curious, and I hope you might be too. If so, maybe I'll see you there. Jeff Pierce came out with another timely print of his snowballs, Game of Portals. This reminds me of back in the day when Jeff and I worked at Fruition Partners at the same time. There was this thing called the CMS Garage where it had pretty much a portfolio of all the different content management systems that you could set up in ServiceNow, which is now deprecated. But it's a great segue into GlideFast's Glide Hits. It's a port portal portfolio where they have a whole bunch of different examples of different portals they've set up for themselves or for others, or just to, to start with. If you um, are interested in setting up a portal, this I would recommend looking at because they're going to have the layouts of how these things are. And you can be like, Ooh, I like that. Or I don't like that. If you have stakeholders and you guys are looking at re-implementing your portal, this is a, a, a must see. And then uh, Ryan Glipsy posted on Twitter that he is looking for some feedback if he was going to start some content of like what types of stuff you'd like him to cover. So definitely reply to that tweet. And then last but not least, Posh Programmer, aka Lauren McManaman, I hope I said that right, joins the developer advocate team at ServiceNow after five years on sales. And I just want to say, I am glad to have you and I can't wait to see how you change the team up. That's it. Have a great day.